Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Ken to another episode of The Lazy Gourmet. And today I'm gonna to show you an absolutely fantastic way to do a pork tenderloin in a beautiful mushroom and cognac reduction. Super easy, super delicious, not heavy on the pocketbook, and everybody's gonna love this. Now for this recipe, I'm using one pound of pork tenderloin cut into four portions. A couple of green peppers. The green peppers are actually my own. I'm using two. They're on the smaller side. They're organic. Don't judge. And along with this, I'm using four small onions, again from my garden, and a can of mushroom soup concentrate, some garlic, olive oil, of course, Greek, and some brandy. So to get us started off, what we're going to do is turn up our heat to a medium high on our pan get that going and preheating. Uh, do a little bit olive oil, maybe three, four good tablespoons or so. I like to go on the more generous side when it comes to olive oil. And basically, take your pieces of your pork tenderloin and just place them into your pan, nice and easy. And just let those go until they become brown on both sides. Now, while those are browning off and are pork tenderloin is going. You can use this time to slowly start chopping up our onion. Nothing fancy, we're just going to slice it up. You don't have to really do anything too complicated because at the end this is all going to kind of go down into nothing and you're going to be left with the flavor. As that's browning off, throw a little pepper onto this. I'm not going to add any salt to this because there's already enough sodium in our cream of mushroom soup. So we don't want to go too heavy on that as well. So now our pork tenderloin is done on one side. It's being nicely browned. We're just going to finish that off for another maybe three or four minutes and then we'll continue on. As well, once our onions are done and they're chopped up, we can add our green pepper. And for this, all you really need is a rough chop. Nothing fancy, nothing complicated. Let your knife do the work. I think our pork tenderloin is pretty much done. It's beautifully browned on both sides. So what we're going to do is just leave that off to the side. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little more olive oil. Not much, maybe a couple of tablespoons or so. And we're going to take our onions and our peppers and just put them in and get them sauteing down. So far, nothing to it browned off our pork tenderloin, added now to saute down our green peppers and our onions, and just get that going here. And again, so far I haven't added any salt to this dish at all. I want to keep my meals as low sodium, low sugar as I can, and I think by totally controlling your salt, and if you're adding already prepared stuff, for example, like the cream of mushroom here, the, the, the concentrate, which has already got salt in it, you're already off to the races. I want to add just a little bit of pepper into our sauteing veggies, a little bit of minced garlic, maybe a couple, three cloves or the equivalent of that, and get that working in there. This is unbelievable. The flavors, or actually not the flavors, the smells in here are fantastic. I'm also getting an onion, pepper, and garlic facial here from the steam. That's totally cool. Okay, so now our onions, our garlic, and our green peppers are going. They're sauteing down perfectly. The next part of this is the cognac. You can use metaxa, you can use brandy. I'm using cognac. It's in the funky one of these Greek bottles. But in this case, I would recommend going about half a cup or so. And don't worry, you're, nobody's going to get drunk eating this. It's basically all the alcohol is just going to burn off. You're going to be left with this beautiful flavor. Next thing, after our cognac has kind of reduced now, the alcohol is gone, is some low sodium soy sauce. And for this, I'm going to put in about a quarter cup or so of low sodium. Again, controlling our sodium intake. Still want that background flavor, that buzz of the soya, but without that kind of 
prickly taste on your tongue. So this is working now. Again, give that like a couple of minutes just to kind of work through and condense down. And it's all about layering and building flavors. And this is absolutely gorgeous the way it's smelling. Absolutely fantastic. This dish as well works even on a weeknight. For example, today is Wednesday night. What am I going to do? You don't want to spend four days making something on a weeknight. What you want to do is basically come home, get the job done, a few common ingredients, and flavor, nutrition, and basically convenience. That's what it's all about. The next part of this is the kicker to this recipe. I'm using one can of low sodium cream of mushroom soup that's going to go in there. And again, let that kind of heat through and it's going to build the cream sauce for our pork tenderloin to just kind of bathe in through the rest of the cooking process. So that's there. I'm using one and a half cups of milk. I'm using 2% milk. You can use 1% if you like or you can go with something a little heavier. A lot of people want to go half and half. You want to do like a cup of milk and half a cup of whipped cream, whipping cream is totally cool too. So our milk goes in just like that. Put this off here and again give that a quick stir. And this will come up to temperature now and as our sauce now and all our flavors are building it's just it's just excellent, just totally magnificent. You people are going to love this. You will love this, I promise you. So there's that there. Give that a minute or two. Bring the heat up. Once it gets to kind of a little bit of a rolling boil, we're going to add our pork tenderloin in it and take it from there. So now our sauce is coming up to kind of a gentle simmer. It's time to put the star of our show in, our beautifully browned pork tenderloin pieces. And what you're going to do is just place them in here, kind of in the sauce, and let them kind of get all nice and happy, happy, comfy, call it whatever you like. Everybody goes in the pool, everybody's joining the party, and there you go. Now that this is covered off and it's on a low simmer, let this go for about 25 to 35 minutes. That's all it needs. Our pork has already been kind of browned off and it's kind of started kind of encapsulating the flavor. Now what we're going to do is just let it go. Let all the flavors marry. Let everything come together. The sauce is going to tighten up and we'll be ready for an awesome meal. Also, just to kind of add to this, you notice this is all done in one pan. There's not a lot of cleanup to do after this. I will be serving this with some white long grain rice, totally cool, gluten free. So you can make this into a gluten free kind of meal, which is totally awesome as well. And I'll show you how that works out towards the end, because while this is kind of simmering down, we'll start working on our rice. So basically, I've been cooking for less than an hour. And in that time, I made a gorgeous meal for four people and it's nutritious, delicious, and totally easy to make. So with this, I've just got some of the uh, converted rice for that I'm gonna put on my plate. Just give this a try here. And I'm gonna grab some of my pork tenderloin and put some on just like that. How cool is this? How totally cool is this? And it's just so tender. The pork is absolutely done to perfection. It is tender, goodness, deliciousness. That's how good this is. I just a piece here for you. Mm -hmm. mm. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Perfectly balanced flavor. Not too salty, and I didn't add any salt at all. I'm getting the hints of the cognac, the soya, the green pepper, the, the pork is just melt in your mouth. It's that delicious. And that's all there is to making. You can make this on a weeknight. You can make this weekend anytime. Totally, totally works. 
And you can also substitute the pork for beef. You could even use chicken in this case. So that's it for this episode here. I hope you guys really try this. I hope you guys had a good time watching this. Thank you very much. Hit that like button, subscribe, see what I'm up to all the time in the kitchen. And until next time, I'm Ken, aka The Lazy Gourmet. Thank you very much. Bye for now.